Are we seeing the birth of a new industry standard for VR art production? With the release of Adobe's Substance 3D Modeler VR program, that might just be the case. But well, let's take a look. Now, Modeler just went into open beta yesterday, which means I can finally get my hands on it. And looking at the page that Adobe gives, it says, share what you want. And you don't have to ask me twice. So let's go ahead and download this and see what we can do with it. So once you get it downloaded and installed and everything, one thing that I really liked that I noticed about this is that it actually opened up my Oculus Hub, which wasn't open before and my headset wasn't even plugged in. And what that means is this program, which is not Oculus specific, knew what I wanted to use for my VR integration and it already had it ready to go. And this is the kind of attention to detail that I love about Adobe programs. I don't necessarily use them all the time myself, but one thing that I've always appreciated is that the seamless integration of different formats, different kind of uh, clients is always something that I can use and I'm always happy with. So of course that's a nice little touch, but the real question is, how does it run? Getting to the default screen here, what we can see is that it gives us a really basic, really clean interface. A couple of things that look familiar if you're an existing medium user, but to be honest, I really couldn't figure out the whole desktop interface. Uh, but that's okay because we all know what I'm here for. I'm just here for the food. No, I'm here for the VR. So first things first, we got to do a little housekeeping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hashtag lefties unite. So then let's pop on the headset and see what happens. Jumping into this interface, the one thing that I can see first things first is that it's really clean, really responsive, everything that I would expect from a company like Adobe. Now, if you're familiar with Medium, you'll also recognize a lot of the interface options, even though they have changed a little bit. Now, I didn't have a ton of time to mess around with the interface. Um, I couldn't sit down and work for hours on this. So I just wanted to jump in and see what I could do with zero preparation and zero reading ahead of time. Uh, because really, I feel like that's the best test of a program is how quick you can jump in and just start making stuff. So in this case, what I found was that it was super intuitive. Um, a lot of familiar things, if you're familiar with working with sculpting in VR. And then the question becomes what to make. So I decided to do just like a little shack. I just decided to make uh, a little wooden building because I felt like I could use kind of a, a stamp setup for that. I could use some repeating shapes. So let's see what I can do and how quick I can do it. Now, the controls for setting up the stamps and changing the shapes of things is actually really intuitive. It's not like in Medium where it's like you have the option to scale the stamp and that's it. In this case, you have the things like the square brush or the round brush. You, you can squash them, you can deform them, you can stretch them out. So in this case, where I'm making something out of wooden planks, it actually made it super simple. So there wasn't a lot of precision going on here. I was just kind of putting stuff together and I feel like I put something that's really not too bad in a really short time. So that really bodes well for the usability of this program. Quite honestly, I'm not gonna go through a pros and cons list on this because this is still pre-release and I want to make sure that it has the opportunity to be the best that it can before we decide what's good and bad about it. Some of the things that I noticed that were really good that I, I think are built into the DNA of this are the things that it inherits from Medium, which is the ability to work in layers, the ability to adjust the resolution of those layers independently, and just gives you a great set of tools to work with so that you can start to put things together in a really super intuitive way. So if you have a VR headset, uh, something like an Oculus Rift or uh, something like that, I would say give this a try because you might be surprised how much you love it. And uh, We'll see what happens because I'm not the type for subscription software, but if they continue developing this and making it better, uh, I may have to break that. But we'll see. I'm going to keep working on stuff for Medium. I'm not going to give up on that now, even though the new thing is coming out. So stick around and we'll see what we can do. But uh, definitely I am excited to see what the future holds for VR art production in general and this program specifically. All right. Keep being awesome. Keep making awesome art.